So this week, I thought we'd just go back to Burger King as a chicken version, which I didn't realize they were doing the steakhouse in terms of their gourmet. There's also a peppercorn version of this, which I think I'll try at some point. It does sound really nice. Obviously, the pictures look amazing. They always do, but fair dues to this, it, the taste-wise, it, it was pretty nice. It wasn't anywhere near the height, especially of Miller & Carter, which is why I gave Miller & Carter such high rating. Five guys, probably nine in terms of their fries, but eight and a half I think was fair. So Burger King, back to Burger King as I say, the Steakhouse Crispy Chicken. And as you can see there, the original Burger King, um, 19, 1954, and still going. But initially called Insta Burger. Maybe, maybe that would have been a better version. I, I don't know, but either way, are these the kings? It's still, I don't know, yeah, no, but at the same time, the fries, they've gone back to kind of, I don't know, like an original crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, but not as crunchy as their original fries. You've got now the tangy cheese chicken fries, which were pretty damn good. Like the chili heat wave I think they had before coating, that, that was nice, but maybe a little bit too much, kind of a bit too much spice on the chicken. But the cheese and the chicken went well together, and it was just enough that it was an extra crunch um, with the crushed Doritos. So crushed Doritos um, to create the perfect crumb, as they say, dusted with the iconic and bold Doritos tangy cheese flavor. And it was that extra kind of tangy cheese that you get in the packet. So they were really nice. I'd, I'd say definitely try them if you've not tried them. Um, as I say, the fries, uh, I'm not really give, gonna give much to them. They were nice, there was nothing wrong with the fries at all, but they were, they were just kind of standard fries. I think Burger King need to find their own fries you know what I mean? Compared to McDonald's, um, Five Guys, and Miller and Carter, and even uh, O'Hanna's, they they've got their own kind of style fries. So I think Burger King is still trying to find something that kind of suits them. I, I, I don't know, but the fries were okay. You know, they weren't bad. They weren't amazing. <clears throat> so at the most, I'd say the fries is, is worth maybe seven out of ten. The tangy cheese chicken fries, if I got that right. Um, were really good. The coating, I say, is more than enough. Um, you're kind of tasting the cheese with the chicken. Although it is chicken breast, it's still kind of, you'll see in a second, looks like a kind of a processed chicken, but they must have used chicken breast, so, okay, fair enough. Um, but it was substantial. They, they weren't sort of shrink, you know, inflation that everything seems to be happening, everything's going down in size, but the price is going up. They didn't seem to be along those lines, but the box was pretty big to say what you actually got inside. Um, On to the burger. I think this was possibly, especially if you like chicken burgers, probably one of the best chicken burgers that's out there. I mean, Popeyes, I've got to try their chicken burger at some point. Um, but you can see there the Steakhouse Crispy Chicken Meal, and it wasn't actually that bad for a gourmet burger. Okay, it's got rocket, so just to go over it, 100% uh, chicken breast in a pillowy brioche bun layered with smooth oak smoked cheddar cheese, fresh rocket, sizzling bacon, and topped with crispy onions. It's gourmet. Yeah, okay, it's gourmet, but it doesn't look gourmet again somebody's just chucked it together i don't know why i know they do hundreds of these a day but or probably a week at least why they can't just take a little bit more time and put, kind of put the toppings on in the right place because you can't really move them once the cheese has melted i know it sounds like i'm moaning and, and i say this kind of week in week out but you're not paying 10p you're paying 10 quid for this sort of stuff so i think they should put a bit more effort in however the chicken was really nice the chicken breast could have been a little bit more substantial. It looks like it's been sort of whacked as, as flat as you can get it without it disappearing. Um, the coating on the outside was kind of more substantial, almost like that steakhouse kind of principle, which I think is where obviously the rocket and everything else comes from. The bacon and the crispy onions, again, I've said it many times, I don't like fresh onion, it takes over everything, but this, in terms of uh, crispy fried onions, with like a, an onion jam or something like this on the bottom, was really nice. Like the brioche bun, amazing, and again, other buns like Five Guys, maybe if they had a brioche bun, would add that little bit to it. So overall for Burger King on this occasion, I think it's going to be very close to um, Five Guys, but 8 out of 10, I think, is a, is a fair rating for the burger. If you've not tried it, by all means try it, and there's also a peppercorn version. Appreciate the views, appreciate the subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.